Hi, I'm Nancy Richard. I'd like to welcome all of the residents of Pembroke to the PACTV family. We're so looking forward to working with you and hope that you'll see some exciting changes in your channel lineup in the next couple of months. Um, today I'm going to be just giving you a little bit of information about what we're planning on doing. Um, I know that there's been a lot of confusion about what's happening, so um, one of the things that we wanted to talk about was um, our plans for the Educational Access Channel, which um, we're meeting with the, the uh, um, educators at the high school and the superintendent of schools right now to um, find out what the schools want so that we can put a program in the schools where the kids can actually get their hands on the equipment and learn about video production. Um, we're doing, right now we're doing a really great program at Silver Lake High School and we would like to also do a similar program at Pembroke, but we wanna make sure that we're doing what the school wants and not what we think we want, so we're asking questions. Um, the program will be ready to start up in September. One of the big things that the schools have asked for is a staff person, which we will be sending over 20 hours a week to the school to help support the teachers and the students in the programming, making sure all of the events at the school get covered, including some of the sports programs that you're used to seeing. Um, another big change you'll be seeing is the number of um, meetings at, on the government channel. We do up to four meetings a week in each of our towns, and Pembroke will be no exception. We also will be providing informational programming from other government officials, state, local, federal, and um, county governments. We have uh, programs from state reps and also programs from your local library, programs from your Council on Aging, and other, other government-related uh, programming, including what you're already seeing, the selectmen's meetings in the town. Meeting. So um, I'm going to ask Donna Rodriguez, who is our outreach coordinator, to give you a little bit more information about the programs and how we'd be running educational, um, public, and government access in Pembroke. Hi, I'm Donna Rodriguez. I'm the outreach coordinator here at PAC TV, and we're really very excited to be uh, welcoming Pembroke to the PAC TV family and coming into the Pembroke community. Uh, as Nancy mentioned, we have uh, we have a lot of things that we're looking forward to talking to people in Pembroke about because. Our goal really is to assist the folks in Pembroke, um, all of you, whether you are residents, whether you work in Pembroke, or you're associated with school or government, in being able to make this transition something that's very smooth and also is meeting all of your goals. Uh, we really want to make sure that the services that we offer are meeting your needs. If you have questions at any point throughout the transition, please feel free to give us a call at any time. The studio number is 508-830-6999. You can also email info at pactvpactv.org. When we first start, we're going to be holding some informational meetings and open houses. We're looking forward to meeting all of the producers and volunteers who are currently working in Pembroke and talking to each of you to find out how we can assist you with the transition and how we can make things as smooth as possible for you, um, whether it be from transitioning from one studio to another, if there are any classes you need, any support from staff you need, or what we can do to help you uh, have your show in the right lineup and the, and the time schedules that work best for you. Um, in addition, throughout the process, we really believe here one of the things it's very important to all of the staff is um, is our goal is to educate and empower the individuals and the communities that we serve. So whether that be the individual producer, whether that be the Council on Aging, whether that be the local nonprofit, we really want to help you to be able to utilize your channel to connect to your community. Um, and at the same time, hopefully really be enjoying having the opportunity to work with all of the equipment and to work with other members and meet new people. Um, I like to say here at PAC TV, it's 8 to 80, uh, the people that we serve. It's, it's every member of the community. Um, in addition to helping uh, current producers to be able to transfer over. One of our goals will be to really focus this summer on assisting all of you. We're hoping to reach out to other members of the community to find out uh, who, who's out there that might not be producing programming yet that would be interested in doing their own local show or maybe volunteering on somebody else's show. As Nancy mentioned, with government programming, we will be covering meetings uh, in town as normal. You will be seeing them on your channel. You're also going to be able to see them on the website, on video on demand, if you're not able to catch things on the channel as they're running. 
moving forward, we also will be reaching out to different departments in town uh, to find groups that are interested in doing informational government programming. Right away when the transition happens, we're going to be able to offer uh, talk shows that we are already taping with the Senate President, as well as with the Plymouth County Sheriff and with your local state representatives. So those will be on, on your government channel pretty much immediately. Um, Nancy talked a lot about the educational access, and we do look forward to working with the school department, the current volunteers and students to ensure that your programming is in continuing and also to find out what your dreams and goals are for the future so that we can start to work together uh, to make whatever changes that you're interested in seeing. Last but not least, as the outreach coordinator, I work a lot with area nonprofits. We offer a free public service announcement days throughout the year to the nonprofits and the communities that we serve uh, where we videotape uh, PSAs, public service announcements for them and make them available free of charge. And we also put them on the channels to help the nonprofits connect more meaningfully with their community, with people they can serve, or to be able to reach benefactors who can support them in their mission. One of the exciting things that's going to be happening here in the studio coming up in the fall is we're going to have opportunities for nonprofits also to be able to come in and do half-hour talk shows of their own that will be supported by the PAC TV production staff and volunteers. And moving forward, we're also going to be able to have uh, in the fall a news program that's going to be a community news program. It's going to be based on all of the communities that we serve. So we're looking forward to hearing from you you to find out your ideas for what are going to work for that show as well. Again, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, would like a tour, we would love to talk to you. Please give us a call at 508-830-6999 or email info at pactv.org. Thank you so much, and we look forward to working with you.